having the dancer break silence for the first time since his infamous body slamming video went viral. Yeah, this right there, you know, you know more extreme. One of the biggest events in the Jamaican diaspora. <laughs> Pulled us to the Big Apple last weekend. We'll have our report. I love the show. Special access to Barry Hammond and kids. I actually want them to make an impression for themselves. We're talking about never before seen access. Very special access indeed. A song and video you'll be hearing and seeing for the first time from the late Delos. You gone too soon. And why one sexologist is labeling Jamaican men, in particular dance owners, homosocial. The not carry sand, garbage. But you rather carry man, garbage. <laughs> She'll be here to answer. All those stories plus this week's E News reviews and video stage are all coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. Last weekend found us in the Big Apple for one of the biggest events in the Jamaican diaspora. Grooving in the park. For sixty dollars, you're getting one of the sweetest voice in the world right now, Mr. Tess and Chip. We're talking about Toots, veteran of the business, Eva Bryce. I can show you the world. Regina Bell. Oh, baby, come to me. Brian McKnight. But I've won last cry. And the one and only, Mr. Step Aside. Now, another man wants to take over. And the day before it came alive, Sunday, June 26, at Royal Wilkins Park in Queens, this was the general vibe in the community. There's a musical magic happening this year, and I predict that this year is going to be the biggest <laughs> group in the park that we've ever seen. You know, I'm really feeling honored to be you know, asked by the promoters to be a part of this festival. Barry G and Ross Clem co-hosting. Dwayne Stevenson was their first presentation of the build lineup. Stevenson had no trouble whatsoever rising to the occasion. After all that's been said. So much so that hardly anyone could tell it was the biggest billing of his budding career. deliveries of new releases <laughs> sprinkled with old favorites <laughs> Tess and Chin moved the proceedings into high gear looking into the crowd and seeing people sing the songs and, and, and jamming with these is the most wonderful feeling <laughs> Unleashing gems from his timeless catalogue with mastery of stagecraft. Toots had the full attention of the swelling crowd. For all his stay. At this point, a band change brought us a cameo from Johnny P and Tiger. Again. People with the support from Regina Bell wowed with the big sing-alongs. Poignant lyrics that, that people sing from their hearts and from their souls and it's it's all the same. I mean, great music is great music and great reggae is nothing like it. Fabulous, electric. 
Um, I always have a lot of fun when I'm uh, performing with my, uh, my friend Pebo Bryson of so many years. Um, and uh, what can I say, um, performing a whole new world today was like a whole new world. <laughs> And then the park erupted with the coming of Haman. Beres Hammond, and no one rested their feet, hands, or voice until he was gone. Replaying in their minds, moment after moment. Including this. Night had closing honors. But not even him could erase the massive jiffies Barris created for the biggest crowd the park had ever seen. The man himself, Barris, man, my baby. Barris. Barris, stop. Barris. Barris, you are. Barris, the boss. An estimated 25,000 screaming fans. Barry's just kind of, I swear to God, I don't even know what to say. Absolutely phenomenal, amazing. The show was beautiful tonight. Oh my God, awesome. Even in the park, Queens, New York, we're loving it. It's the best show in New York. Best thing ever. I'm very relaxed watching the show tonight. Free air come and it just gets better and better and better and better. And I must say, this is probably the biggest our production over the six years that we have had a show. And here's the Jamaica not just behind this massive grooving, but also another successful venture in New York City. Both serving thousands with two of Jamaica's most in-demand products, food and music. His name is Christopher Roberts owner of arguably the U.S.'s most successful Jamaican restaurant, The Door, and of course the promoter of grooving in the park. We spoke to him at the concert on Sunday in his first ever television interview. What, what's driving this desire to do this in New York? <laughs> You know, um, I, I always say, if you, when you go to Jamaica, there, there are two things you, you, you're sure you'll see. You'll see a jerk pan and uh, sound boxes. Um, it's in us. Um, the music is in us, whether you're a DJ or singer um, or whether you're a promoter. So I, I guess growing up, my father had a sound system. I later had a, a small sound system myself. So I guess it's still that passion that's driving me. Okay, so though you're in food and very successful at it, you're now going back to your, your, your youth passion. So it, my youth passion, but also it, it, it's, it's, it's our culture. Um, and you know, it, culture doesn't go without food and music. So it's still, I, I consider it not something separate from the food, but complements the food as part of the culture. But you're unique in the sense that you're successful in, 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 as a restaurateur, and you're also now very successful as a promoter. There's always a call for people to mix both because the world wants both Jamaican food and Jamaica's music. So, and you alone, you're doing that. Have you looked at it that way? No, I've never looked at it that way, but you're, but, but you're right. And, and I think the Jamaica culture is so 
unique and so loved around the world. Whatever or wherever we go, you can sell it. And, and I think that's what I'm doing. Um, and my opinion is that when you sell it, you want to present it in the best way that you can. Okay, what can you tell us about some of the future plans for it? What, what, where are you taking it? Ah, where are we taking this? Um, I would say time will tell, but I like to see us duplicate this in other states. Um, I, I, I'm sure, you know, even along the, 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 the East Coast, I, I'm sure it will do well in, in other cities. All right, there you have it, our Grooving in the Park report. And now we'd like to thank Richard and the entire Grooving and Door family for hosting us and all our fans in New York and uh, the wider tri-state area. And now, other stories making our e-news and reviews this week. The success of the Damien Jr. Gong Marley led Welcome to Jam Rock Reggae Cruise has been very well reported right here on stage. Well, get this. News now is that the 2016 staging of the cruise, which is set for November 14 to 19, is already completely sold out. But all hope is not lost. Fans wanting to experience what so many around the world have been talking about can right now make their reservations for the 2017 staging. With a stellar lineup of heavyweights, it's not hard to imagine why this year's staging is already completely booked. The Marleys, including Damien and Steven, Toots, Sean Paul, Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, Steel Pulse, Chronic, Starus Riley, Mr. Vegas, Marcia Griffith, Sanchez, and a whole lot more. On stage will be cruising come November. Now, as the space continues to mourn the loss of dancehall artist Delos, today we present a video that you'll be seeing for the first time. In what is a very eerie coincidence, this track was originally written for Jacob Capri, who passed away tragically in December of 2015. Now, it's being used to tell his own story. Delos, gone too soon. But the plan, I mean, I understand. No, it's too early, me never ready, no You gone too soon, gone too soon God no, still feel say you never your time Tears full up me eyes, you gone too soon, gone too soon Yes, it hurt cause me know me not gonna get no phone call again WhatsApp, Facebook, now post again Social media, still have up a picture Bringing the memories over and over again Sometimes me feel like you're still there I look to see you walk on from the corner But me remember when me get condolence and prayer It's too early, me never ready, no You gone too soon Gone too soon God no, still feels say you never your time Tears full up me eyes, you gone too soon Gone too soon oh. Some say them understand the feeling But them not know how much you mean to me I know they really try to help recovery But only time can heal my misery Big space you left in my life And there's no one to fool it up yeah, I can't sleep Seems like everything incomplete It's too early, me never ready, no You gone too soon Gone too soon God no, still feel so you never your time Tears full up me eyes You gone too soon Gone too soon Oh, oh Every time you hear your name now we're not gonna be the same now. Just know the place not feel the same way. The day me hear you gone. Jehovah, God always have a plan. Put the plan, I mean, I understand. Okay, so there you have it. Delos, as he was just before his passing. Condolences to his family and friends from all of us here on stage. And stay with us, still to come, Marvin the Dancer breaks silence for the first time since infamous body slamming video went viral. And a special access to Bears Hammond and kids. Special, really very special access we're talking about here. And why one sexologist is labeling Jamaican men, in particular dancehallers, homosocial. She'll be here to answer. All coming up.
Wait, wait, wait. It's too early, me never read enough. You gone too soon. Gone too soon. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. This is something that got tongues wagging in social media this week. Jamaican men are very homosocial. Why? What I mean by that is they rather spend them time with them brethren than them women. Oh, that. Now, look how much of them pack up suitcases and make reservations for to spend the weekend on the grill down a dream weekend with them brethren. And you hear them say, they now carry sand, garbage. But you rather carry man, garbage. <laughs> What you saying? I don't need to make up on the man. You say I don't have a problem with the rainbow flag at the, at the US Embassy, but nobody not talk about the fact that you know, the big, big party when all of the souls music I play, all of them stand up and talk to each other and the women them over there. So, and somebody to dance now. She is sexologist, media personality, Shelly on Weeks, who is right now, right here on our stage to explain this homosocial label she's ascribing to Jamaican men. And I think dance hall is somewhere in there. <laughs> Shelly. Oh my goodness. Shelly, come. Welcome. Welcome, Shelly. Absolutely fantastic to be here. With yeah, you. you're looking different. Yes. Fantastic, but, yes. but smaller, I suspect. Smaller, yeah, very different, obviously. Um, yes. I've changed my lifestyle, I've changed my diet, and mm. this is the new healthier me. Healthy is the new sexy Winford. Okay. And literally, I had fibroids. I was diagnosed last year, late last year. I was actually supposed to do a surgery. And, you know, I started to talk to different people in homeopathic, you know, uh, medicine and stuff. And we decided that I'm going to try that just as an experiment. And yes. here I am months later, uh, over 50 pounds lighter, don't need to do surgery anymore. And I am feeling fantastic. Oh really? Absolutely fantastic! Like it's a new car body. Who oh, thought? so that's why you're, you're <laughs> so you're on a campaign, aren't you? Uh, well, yes. Uh, the campaign hasn't started yet, but I'm literally designing a campaign right now because what to, I want to, to help do women is spread the news to women, ladies. A lot of us are suffering from fibroids. A lot of us have a lot of problems with our female reproductive system. Mm -hmm. And there are, there, there are different things that we can do. Surgery is all we're told about, but surgery is not our only option. So I really do want to get the word out. So you will be hearing a lot more about that in the coming weeks. And to men, you say? Oh, without, definitely, gentlemen, look here. I have to talk to Honiana because I think you need to get more involved in the lives of your women, especially as it relates to her female reproductive organs, because it's not just there for your enjoyment. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that she experienced and she needs your support with, but our culture doesn't really celebrate that. So that is something that I would like to help change. Look at how the female reproductive organ is described in dancehall. It sounds like something they want to attack, beat up, dig out, rub out. It, just, it doesn't sound like something that they, they, they revere or want to take care of. Only when they talk about their mothers, and even with talking about their mothers, they take the organ out of it completely. But the point is, the way Dansa looks at female reproductivity, it's not in a very positive light. And I think that is something that we need to change and we need to look more into. And we definitely need to get the men more involved in the conversation okay. as it relates to that, because a lot of women are suffering. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's a nice way to segue into now yes. <laughs> the topic of... Well, the, the label that you're putting Homo on. Homosocial. Say it when On Jamaican it. men. Homosocial. Homo yes. Is the word you put. Are you still standing by what I you posted? Not, I did not hesitate. And I meant it then. And I still mean it now. Yes. And let me break it down. Yes. When we say homo, homo means same. Social, we're talking about, you know, socializing, hanging out, being around. And the reason why I use this terminology is because I am observing in the dance hall space for years now, it seems as if men don't go anywhere with a woman. I mean, every, I, have, I have seen so many men, they show up in the dances, them and them bridging, in party from Valentine's Day to New Year's Eve, them and them bridging all together. So I'm like, so what's going on? Uh, you don't have a woman? And when you talk to some of them, of course they have a woman, but the women are at home. So I'm like, okay, so you don't hang out with her? This one friend said to me, I said to him, when was the last time I carried a woman somewhere? He goes, oh, I brought her to a funeral last week. I'm like, really? So it's only funeral you go with a woman? Like, <laughs> honestly? So there is a trend in dance hall where men are just hanging out with each other. And that is why I call them homosocial. But women are doing the same, yes, would you say? Of course. In fact, women mm -hmm. are, uh, have perfected that. 
course. Hanging out with them friends. Well, if you're mad, if you're alone by yourself, you know, if you find something though, so yeah. you call if your girlfriend say you go out. And listen, I am not suggesting that the is men... Is it because men left them alone? Not necessarily. But I'm not suggesting oh. that it's only the men. But the reason why I'm pointing out how the men act is I think there are certain situations that men go together that really should be something that you share with your woman. For example, the mm -hmm. example that I used in the post when I say they make reservation and pack up suitcase to go and bunk in a room with him and him for bridging them on a dream weekend. Mm -hmm. And they claim that, oh, you must carry son, go see. So I'm mm -hmm. like, so <laughs> you prefer carry man, go see? Mm -hmm. Really? What are you saying? Mm -hmm. Whenever we we talk about this whole thing about how men relate to women my opinion is a lot of the conversation is not happening between the sexes and look at the men that said I'm a gallus man a gallus but him rolling in the club with 40 men behind him and all 40 of them come in five car I would like to know how the seating arrangement going for it it doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> okay I don't understand it <laughs> all right so let's uh, let's assume that the, <laughs> let's assume that these men are yes. single men yes they are not committed to any woman. All right. They're okay. single. Good. So they're rolling as, as brethren. Yes. And they go to these spaces, yes. the parties and clubs and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but when they get there, if they walk up to women, because mm -hmm. you were making that point, yes. too, that man over there start dance and, and women over there Yes. Star. So w women yes. are, are very famous for, for snobbing men. Of course. Yes, and for putting up all kinds of, in, in fact, insulting them when they walk up to them. Yes. They don't like that. They don't encourage that. No, but so but, you explain okay, that for me. Let now. me explain that for you. As mm. a woman who man, men have approached to, in dance hall, they, yes. have come, they come to me. I don't know if it's because it's who I am, but they approach me. But how they approach me make a difference. It is not enough. Approaching me is not enough. You can't come over to me and then compliment which part of my body you would like to do things to. Oh. That, come on. That, doesn't, that is not something that I want somebody who I don't know coming to introduce himself to me for the first time. Mm -hmm. That is not the way to approach me. And then the ones who don't even say something, they just come and put them body parts on you. All right. Let me ask you the straight question. Yes. Do women want men to come over to them in parties? Of course they do. But the approach is important. Men need to learn how to talk to women. What should they say? Well, do not offer us nine inches of anything. We don't want it. Give me a good example <laughs> of how the men should approach First of women. all, it helps if you come over and say, mm. Hi, my name is Winford. Nice to meet you. Can I have this dance? Most of the time when they approach me like that, we go dance with them. But maybe in, it's just in me. Today's Jamaica. I don't profess to speak <laughs> for everyone in the world. I'm know. talking about the approach that I would appreciate. Okay, so you... So, I don't <laughs> profess to speak for... You have some women who mm. want a little bit more aggressive approach, and that I say to gentlemen, do your homework. If you realize that this girl is like this kind of thing, find out, look at something about her, walk into that. Do your homework and go and approach her. But aren't there a lot of women going mm -hmm. to these places yes. with no intention mm -hmm. whatsoever mm -hmm. of, of getting involved or of dancing so. with any men? Of course. So how do men make the difference between those who want Good. to and those who don't want? I'm going to, and again, yes. I do not profess to speak on behalf of every woman, but let us say that. I, me and my friend have got out. We're not going out to look no man. Mm. However, we've gone out and met a lot of very interesting people. They come over and they strike a conversation and we talk and all of us become friends until we realize that my girlfriend and the guy we did meet at the club last night start to date by themselves and all of that. So it doesn't have to be a case where you have to go over there with the intention of groping her. You can just go over there and strike up a conversation. And mm -hmm. then you might get her to dance with you. It doesn't have to be a case where, oh, it's tunnel vision. If I don't go over there and she say yes immediately, I don't want her to do it. That's not how it goes. Okay. It's a process. All right. So this has been a long standing. This has been forever. Long time. Men are ruled by themselves. Long time. Women ruling it's by them themselves. Entourage. The girl is with them 40 men strong entourage. So what's new? What is driving your, <laughs> you right now in this time, in this, this dispensation, to take it on? Well, Shelley. you know what happened? It wasn't even an intent to take it on. I literally yeah. was having a conversation with, Hi, Kurt Riley. Kurt and I were having a conversation. Oh. And he was even saying the same thing, that mm. he, as a DJ, him looking the dance and see the woman getting out of the way because then the, the troop among them are getting in front of the video. Like, this is dangerous now, Winford. You're standing up there, man, your own business, and, and there's a troop of men pushing you out of the way. It has happened to me. I, my toe has been stepped on already with them pushing out of the way to get to the video light. And traditionally, video light was a woman thing with a woman in the video lights and them do them thing and whatever no not so much you have to look out for the, the
the platoon of men coming towards it. So it's not that I'm taking it on. We were just making the same observations. Okay. And we realized that it is happening more so now than ever before because it's like it's the thing. Whenever you see them rolling together, it's 50 like some so, huge all right. men. Have you done the research on, on, on how this is matching up with other cultures? No. No. So you don't know what literally, gives in... We have this conversation literally this week, Winford. Mm -hmm. The research... I'm, no, but I'm definitely I, going to observe it, you know, because it is something that I've, I've seen in the, the dance hall space because I occupy the space. I'm, I'm there. I go to the events. I see what is happening. But you're right. I would like to make the comparison to what's going on with us mm -hmm. as it relates to other cultures. But as, as it relates now, Jamaican men say, yeah, and them say, woman, woman things, woman this, woman that. Really? <laughs> I love our contradictory culture. Yeah. I love the fact that Jamaica is such an anomaly because we are two opposite things at the same time. So I actually love that about us. But as a commentator, as somebody in the space, I just like to point out the fact that these things are happening. And maybe we can as use an opportunity to make some adjustments. Okay. Lux. Shelly, <laughs> Shelly, thank you so much. Absolutely. For coming. And Absolutely. I think, you know, you know, you'll have to come back again real soon. Abs you know, guys, follow and me at Dr. Sexy. Yes, I have to throw my Instagram out there. I'm so happy to be on Winsford Pro for the first time on stage. <laughs> you, don't have to say, you don't have to tell them that it's the first time. They know. Come on. They would have remembered if I was here before. They know. <laughs> Dr. Sexian okay. on all social media platforms and I'm also on the internet, my own website, drsexian.com. And definitely, ladies, you want to know more about the fibroids, more about what I'm doing in terms of female reproductive health, follow me. A lot of big things coming in the near future. All the best. And we'll be here to help you to tell them. Absolutely. Anytime, Shelly, <laughs> my friend. All right, stay with us still to come right here on stage. More from New York. There's Hammond, like we have never seen him before. And Marvin, the dancer, breaks his silence. We danced all night to the songs they played. We can come again. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. Much has been said about extreme dancing and body slamming in dancehall from various guests right here on our stage over the past couple of weeks. I see them um, lash out against Marvin and the dancing and where, where, where. have other things, so look out, man. Walk it over, girl, and then I beat her and I pop off. That's not dancing, that's a hack. That's a hack. Well, the man at the center of all this is Marvin the dancer, who we caught up with in New York on the weekend. Dance on, love me everything. The dancer broke his silence for the first time since this infamous video featuring himself and other dancers became a major topical issue worldwide. All right, sir, Marvin, thank you so much for agreeing to speak with us, sir. Yes, Mr. Winford. <laughs> You don't know, don't. Uh, there. Yeah. Uh, okay, is New York home for you? Yeah, yeah, this is where I live, actually, with my wife and kids, you know? So, so all this time you've been, live, you've been a New Yorker? Yeah, 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 actually. Been back and forth, but through, you know, the dancing thing, you know, Jamaica, mm -hmm. we have to do the thing down there and get the thing work here, but yeah, man, this is home for me, you know? Okay, the, the dance that you do, the controversial dance, the dance that everybody is talking about, is, is called, some are calling it body slamming. Is that what, what it is called? Well, Mr. So Winford, you know people go call anything what they feel like, but me been doing this thing like for like 13, 12 years now. Bill and name of it, I call it the daggering. Me and a young lady from... Moby, which where I come from, Jamaica, she named Daima. We start this thing where we are going on the tree, go up on car top, go all in the water and all that. We call it the daggering. But you don't know, dancing thing change up because you don't know. Everybody get in the flossing thing or whatever, whatever. So I just, that next thing, I just uh, bring it back again. Okay. You understand me? It's about entertainment. It's not body slamming. It's just interact with the ladies them and have fun and make the ladies them get involved in a dance hall with the dancers them. So yeah. This resurgence, isn't it more extreme? I would say more extreme because before, back then, you used to have man in a tree and 
with a woman and you can drop out and all of them something there but you know nobody not really going to trigger dance no more and whatever people stand up on dance floor and dance nowadays and on sound box and bar count and all of them things there they there you know no more extreme it's just it's been a minute it's not happening in a dance hall and it just a bring back it is alleged that, that a young lady's leg was broken is that true? well that's that's what i heard i was at an event in uptown monday and we was there battling me and shelly belly with two lady and whatever and i'm jumping at the tent with a lady the lady when i'm jumping at it, she's all right she's fine me and her, all right but after when we leave the party me get a phone call that said the bartender leg was broken said the tent drop on her and break her leg so it wasn't something i know of is when i'm because i don't live in kingston so when i reach back in montego bay that's what i heard I understand me. So, so did you check to see whether she's okay? Or I, I tried to reach out. To it her. had anything to do with you? Yeah, I tried to reach out to her, and they say like, oh, it's when you're jumping at the tent with a lady. I think the tent, the tent fall and break her leg. It wasn't whatever. your jump. That car. It wasn't you. She wasn't the dancer. No, she wasn't dancing with me. Mm -hmm. She wasn't dancing with me. I heard that the lady was in the bar, right. leg break. That's what I heard. Right, let's start now about the biggest, most viral video. It is alleged that a young lady in that particular viral video was underage. Uh, what's your take on that? How do you respond to that? Oh, that's what I heard. But we hear that she's underage. We try to reach out to figure if that's a true. But we don't get no feedback from nobody. But how me reach out to that Winford? If me come a dance hall now, Winford. You understand me? Me not gonna know under here. If it was a street dance, then it would be a difference. But I will speak for Winford, you got one party now. And you need a young lady for wine party. You gotta say, miss, how old are you? You're how much woman? No, you're not gonna ask a woman how much you be. So you go dance so that if you go look at dance, you go come here and say, Miss, can you buy a drink and have a dance or whatever, right? Okay. So, so it was a gated dance. With yeah, a gate. It was it was in a club. Yeah, yeah it was a, a club. Yeah, it's a club where they keep party, several party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a, it was a Thursday event to keep there every every Thursday. It can't be your responsibility to know to know people's age. So, so yeah, I mean the gate man and the other promoter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that Mr. So Moore. I heard that she's underage. Yeah, that's what I heard. But we reach out and several people say she's not underage. All right. So you, we are told that you're you're wanted for questioning or wanted by the police by Sissoka in Jamaica. That's the agency that's responsible for sexual offenses and and so on. And and um, are you really are um, are you wanted by them for real? I don't want it by nobody, Winford. They didn't. I, you don't. They don't. Nobody, nobody tried to reach you. I never get a phone call. The only person I get a phone call from is on stage. Wanting you to come on and talk. Want do an interview. You, you haven't heard from the police in Jamaica? I never heard it from. I speak when I heard that, like, you wanted a question. Somebody said, why am I wanting a question? Relating to the, the lady, the youngster underage. Yeah, related to the lady that assault, said I assault the lady. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. So, me make a phone call. Me call the police commissioner myself. I send my mom or reach out to the, to the police station and my mother get the number and I call up the police commissioner myself and I say, yo, what's going on? Whatever I'm here. He say, yo, he say, me, me do an investigate with the lady. And she said, it's okay. We have a problem with it. That's how we dance. That's what the police commissioner said, Mr. McGregor, said to me. That's the man who had the case at the time. Okay. Yeah, and in, in, actually, when I see the paper the, 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 the following Friday, that's what I see in the paper, you know, the star, like, the same thing when he said to me, said the lady said she don't have a problem with it. So I said, why they must say I want it? He must say, yo, you don't want it. You don't want it for nothing. What you want it for? You don't do nothing. You don't commit a crime. You don't want it for nothing. If you don't come down, when you come to Jamaica, whichever time you come here, just find me. Okay. And me and you will talk and see what's going on. That's what the, the, the police commissioner said to me. Okay, explain the bucket now. The, the, the group of men bucketing, so to speak, a, a young lady. Explain that scene for us. The bucket part, it wasn't nothing disrespectful. You understand me, Mr. Winford? It's just how we act. How we act. It was because our dancing daggering is like a, a show we put on. Whenever you see we, we's like a we's like a movie star, like 
Tom Cruise are one of them people. We, we just put on show. That's what we do. We don't just dance. So you don't feel that you were violating, disrespecting the women? Well, she, she, well, me feel like I violate the people them, the eyes of the people them who have a problem to do with it. So these are the people them who me feel like I violate. But the young lady, I didn't violate her because she don't have a problem with it. If, even now, me said somebody share a video to me that she put out, say, yo, you need to leave Marvin and stop coming off of Marvin's name because this is how we dance. She never have a problem with it when for so she knew you, you've danced with her before? Yes, that, that's somebody who I know. She know me and me know her. You understand me? But my apology and my respect to all of the people them who never, never like what, what them say. Because as I say, me can't speak for everybody. Me only can't speak for who we in a dance hall. But people them out of dance hall, them don't know what's going on. But the video suggests to Marvin that this was this was like ganging up on this young lady and a, 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 a bunch of men, a group of men all over her, doing all kinds of things to her. Are you saying that this was controlled? That you were measured in your in your in your behavior with her? The video, me watch it myself. I want to watch it. I feel so bad about myself, Mr. Winford. I'm bored, my dance as them. Okay. Like what we Go on with that that time, because it don't look good. I swear to you, it don't look good, no time, no time. Worse, I'm not sure I live in America, I'm an American resident, from a Jamaican culture, it don't look good, no time, for your dance hall. Because a dance hall, I, I live in America, I don't do hip hop, I don't do R&B, a dance hall, dance hall, maybe. so I have to protect dance hall. You understand me? And for all of the entertainers them, the singer, them, the DJ, them, the selector, them, the producer, the patron, them, everybody in Jamaica. I'm really, really sorry and all of the people them I watch. And so I go on. I'm very sorry. The young lady and her family, I'm really sorry for everything that happened at that time. And I speak for me, I'm a dancer, them. Really sorry. You understand me? And I will never say the beast and the beast squad perform no more action like that. No more, never, ever again. Everything depends on the right level where it's supposed to be. At that time, it was just, but you understand, but we're sorry. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit quickly now. Sum up for us, who is Marvin the Beast? From Montego Bay, yeah. <laughs> you went to which school and so on and so forth? Oh yeah, I went to Flankers, mm -hmm. I and then Anchovy I. And you know, come from Flanka, Flanka district. Like me and Tommy Lee, we're neighbors. Like we grew up together. Okay. Did you do anything after school before going into dancing? I want to say from the day of school, Winford, I just this me the dancing. Just keep on dancing. But the only thing, the only problem I have is because I come from country, where they call it. I'm be a country. I never get the highlight of me forget. Okay. Even now. Because if this viral video will come, you don't even know who I be still. Don't. Real talk. Okay. Maybe a year off me, but you understand me. But you know where you come from, Moby. You know, music thing down there. So it just come like, say, you have to a tone. To make it work, but but come a town, come bus still, like come it been there, travel, been amongst the big names them from day one until today day, big dancer them and Ray Ray whatever whatever. But it really really hard for me from down there, so car you don't know me. I do, my boss I get is marital family and mm -hmm. them them put me there. As big artists, only vibes cartel like are the only man ever say Marvin in a song, no more. Because maybe train come from Kingston, you know, so nobody now go really pray say yo, yo, I go bust some more dance, I go this, I go that. But respect to all of the artists them said way, cause you don't know me still I show the love. And I still go out there and I fight my way. That's why I create a different thing in a dance hall by dancing. This is what I create from day one. Cause I go I come out town win for them, I do up garden, and I do try out for the dance rare, rare. and it did work. But at the end of the day, I know I never gonna become a superstar. What I want to be. So I just change up it, because I realize that the ladies them interested me, you know me, bad, bad. Every time they see me, they go crazy. So I say, all right, here we go on. I go stay with them. I go dance with them all the day of my life. All right, speak a little bit now about a video. You were just shooting a, bit, a video here in New York. Um, talk about yeah, it. What, like, what, 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 what is it about? Yeah, like three hours ago, actually, before I come here, shoot a video with a young lady. Good artist. She's a hip-hop slash dancehall artists live in New York as well. It's a nice video, you know, my thing, interact with the ladies them. It was about that, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, so it's not you voicing anything special? 
No, no, you know me have a song out there named Take On The Beast, but related to me, The Beast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Voiced by you? Yeah, voiced by me and dancer queen Nikisha and a guy from New York as well, Terrifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Jamaican dancer as well, but you don't know, live here as well. You're heading for Canada. What are you going there to do? No, the beast. <laughs> you understand? Me I go have fun with the ladies them. Friday night, you know, me there at Adore. Saturday night, me there at Montreal. Sunday night, me have a flight come back to New York and me have a show in New Jersey. And you don't know from... So the work go. So you you're, understand? You're, you, have a very, you have a very busy itinerary. Me, that's why I could come, come do the on-stage interview from when. You, you, me, you me be that talk to them and I say, yo, I want to come, come do the interview because I want to make the people them know say, yo, I am not a bad person I mean I want them put this bad thing for me as a dancer because who know me no say yo Marvin is just a nice dancer who dance entertain people that's that's all I live for entertain people not when me go nothing boring anybody can tell you once I walk up in a party enjoyment niceness whole time whether my book feet or not everybody have fun the whole on stage whole heap of manners and respect you don't know and give thanks for know them come on New York and find the beast, do the interview, you can from when we need to do it. But you know the schedule set. But what people love, big up to all of the fans them and the people them, as I said from before, I'm very sorry about the video. And you will never see a next video like that. You hear that? What people love and big up the lady what we was dancing with at the time and our family. What people respect from Marvin the Beast and the whole beast team. What people love, you hear that? Alright, there you have it. Marvin telling his side of the story. We wish him all the best stay with us still to come right here on stage special never before seen access to the love doctor Barry Hammond right here on stage you don't want to miss that remember the songs used to make you rock away those were the days when love reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage so much more than entertainment Welcome back after his show-stopping performance at Grooving in the Park on Sunday, June 26 in New York. Love Dr. Barris Hammond gave on stage special access to his U.S. tour bus, where we sat down with the legendary crooner and the three of his six children. about tonight because tonight is phenomenal I don't know how much time we can say this uh, if we can continue to say it anymore and it sounds cliche now that Hi, na, 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 na. very summon very summon very summon like every time everywhere a string of textual performances very summon and you were just saying something to me a while ago but first of all three people are sitting to your right tell tell me who they are the three big and big there <laughs> my, my kids and these are the ones who want to involve themselves in the music business and if you ask me whatever part of it they take on they're very good at it well this, this is this is nice well I'm actually a producer producer first and okay. my, I'm also an artist too. And I won't I know you're go, going down with uh, some good things that are going on for you and I look forward to that time when you and I will sit and you will tell us. Because I think the entire space will be very happy with what you're doing and your achievements so far in music. And you, sir, is, is no stranger to on stage or audience. Yeah, Inferno. man. Inferno. Yeah, straight out of Fame FM. You know something I wanted to say? The show tonight, the, se the second most forwards, as we say. You know the thing was this forward. <laughs> Did you know that? That furnace forward is the only ones that can compete with you, right? In my shop, all the while. <laughs> really? So, no, sometimes, because him, him, come, him come on the road with me, you know. Yeah. Like, how much? About, about six years now? Yeah. And he plays right before I start my thing yeah. as a farm worker, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you come out. <laughs> no, you know, it got tough, man. No. As a big man, me I say, I want to tell you, <laughs> me I forget, say, I'm a pick me up. I'm a 
I said, I want to. Yeah. No, come on, fight thing now. You know, you know, time done. No, but it's all good because, you know, no. when, I, when I see what he's doing yes. and how he present him thing and how he actually execute it, you yes. see, it's from the heart. But it is good. No, I don't never call him father name. Mm -hmm. Many of them bad men are away now. <laughs> but none of them ever said, and you know my daddy's name is Barry Simon. And me happy too. <laughs> yeah? In that one sense, yes, because I actually want them to make an impression for themselves without relying on a base. So that is good. And you? Rashid Hammond, um, second year student at UA. Yeah. Um, promoter slash manager. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Just help yeah, me around with Wizard a little bit. You know. It's the first time you're having so many of them, right? I know Fern is always with you on here, but. Nah, it's man, it's not the first. Sometimes all six, you know, yeah. come together. And the thing I like about them most of all is that. They always will abound, you know? Yeah. And all of them are beautiful. Them share secrets with them now tell me. Mm -hmm. And I love that. I don't question them. I allow them to do what they want to do and it's a joy. It's a joy being on the road, having part of your family on the road. Hey, you can ask for more than that. Nas, nice. what them call a wheezy. Yeah. I don't know I like that. I know as nice. But I hear some little guys from Europe and down the islands and wherever. I said, hey yo, Wiz is gonna make this beat. Who knew Wiz? Because when I hear about Wiz, you know, I look for an old wizard with a long beard. <laughs> but you know, just the same. I think it's some kind of recognition that they give to somebody who they hold in very high esteem and they hold her in that. So I give no flow of respect. For you must be a very proud father, man. A proud man, but I want to call me here more time, but I'm not going to do it. If you're doing business, that's still, you know. All right. Now come on the tour for me a little bit now. So this one is, is you're coming from where now? A poor, if you say, mm. talk about the poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just yeah. messing with you. Been a good one. Yes. We've had some very good crowds. We started out in um, Sierra Nevada. Mm -hmm. And um, we came through to where? Massachusetts. Yeah. Massachusetts. Cape Cod and other places. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Washington. we're here now, you know, in New York. And this is a very good one too. And as usual, me and my people them, you know, can never change because for me it's always love, you know. And is it is it the same as this everywhere? Sometimes even more, you know. And tonight? Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't lie. It's true. <laughs> Let's Let's talk about tonight a little more now. Your fans are going away. And, the, and I'm going to put up right now what some of them are saying after your performance. Then they like me. Here we go. We enjoy Barry's man. I'm going on with them things. A Barry so far? Yeah, 100%. Eh? Yes, man. Barry's a Barry's a Barry's a Barry's a Barry's leading show. 100%. Man. Whoa, what are you whoa, saying, Trini? Who's leading so far? Barris Hammonds, of course. I love Barris. He spoke a lot about you guys. You talk about him now. What are you most really concerned really? about when he's out there working? The, 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 the thing I'm most concerned about when he's on stage is my hopes that him not sleep when he's doing and him dancing. <laughs> dancing <laughs> moves, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he always have it under control, man. It's just like, you know, it's second nature. It's just something where him do, something where him love. You know, it is, there's nothing that can go wrong, it seems, when he's there working. You know, him in him zone, he might feel the love from the people, him, and the people, him just, you know. 
That's just what it is. Is that your your view too? I share the same with? sentiment. Yeah, man. Same Master, sentiment. I'm not I'm not concerned when he's on the stage. But just know I'm gonna kill it, shell it every time. Yeah, because he seems to be so in control. Let me tell you something. We play basketball <laughs> since high school, like from prep school, go straight up to high school, and I am nowhere near as fit as this man. He's up on stage for almost two hours every night, if not every night, and I can't fathom doing that, even as an athlete. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, tell me them something. <laughs> I want to work. No, no, them, no, no, them sell like one thing still. <laughs> Maybe I'll never tell you it would be so good, man. You're not stopping, man. Yes, no, but no. In reality, I mean, you, the man, them know the love for me share amongst them, you know. Because I'm not trying to get into them space. Let them do what they want to do. What, what gives you a lot of thrills and you're most you know, you know, proud to be? For it's, me, so. it's, it's the um, really and truly is the, is the love that you feel from, from, from the fans and the admirers, you know. It, 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 it's really unexplainable. Okay. It's a really warm feeling. For me, for me there's... there's the thing that moves me is the lyrics in the music, mm -hmm. you know, um, knowing that it comes from experience, whether it's his experience or somebody else, the way it put together in the song. Yeah. It's like you picture, he's painting that picture for you, you know, and word after word goes down that road, you know, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you get, you know, like a ghost. You know, bumps and chills. Yeah. yeah, man, it's serious, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, it's actually I true. Mean, I want to listen to my favorite hey, tune. Hold I on, Dad. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, my, my favorite tune in them set is No Disturb Sign. From me going to that, I'm just going to groupy mode. Like, I'm like, I'm done. But he doesn't even know that. I'm like the yeah. biggest fan when I start singing that, I start screaming. That's a thing that you do. Yeah. But I must make no father know. That this is yeah, what the songs do for me. Sure. It makes this one. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me know. On a problem, it makes me live a little longer, you know. Because between me and your kid, I love my kids, them. Every last one, six. And I never tell one of them, say, don't do this. Do what you want to do. But I will support you. I can't conk you. See? No, I can't conk you. <laughs> but it's, it's you know, clear. It's clear. I just love them, man. I'm it's a clear, because them, if you, know? you look at what they do, each one of them. It's always connected musically. Yes. And it makes me wonder. In I like, know, stop guessing, you know. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. With, yeah. with the others, too. Uh, yeah, uh, movie yes. stars, night, yeah. too. Yeah, movie stars. Yeah? I can't stay with you there. Yes, yeah, man. 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 She's in high school. She goes to Immaculate right now. But when she's ready for take up the singing, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, really? Yeah, man. And my elder sister, she, she, she's an actress, actually. She comes on CSI and many other shows. And I get wicked dog. And her niece. <laughs> she's an actress, too. My granddaughter. Yeah. They might do all kind of something, you know. You know, some big kind of projects like the one we say, Hello, um, you can't buy me a house or watch it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are somebody to go, girl? No? I am still going to be providing for them. Yeah, I would nurse and girls and cautious who's here present, you know, presently. I want to say, I appreciate them being on the road with me because. I feel more like family when we are out here and we observe them, them take care of each other and them save the last take care of for me. Daddy, where you want? What kind of breakfast? Sir? I'm fine. You say better than that. Huh? You say better than that. Actually, I'm going to say I'm But it's all good, man. Yes, you know, you, you know where you do a while ago. Yeah. You made this thing appear like a. Uh, when I'm calling something on TV, reality. Yeah, yeah man. Reality. Oh, well, it is. The reality. Yeah, of that. Man. Everything is real right now. 
Yeah, it's, it's a well, special moment. But watch, moment for watch one biggest brother. See there? Yeah. My brethren, I'll let me say, watch my brethren. Yeah, turn it on me still. Turn it around, man. It's a joy just to be in, you know, presence of Barris and tonight, this evening, performance was great. Well, on this tour, I've been in Connecticut and that was great. That, um, it was really, really a pack house and as usual, all the fans came out and, you know, was enjoying the show. The kids make a difference in how he performs? Well, I know he enjoys having the kids with him, as you can see, and he should be very proud. I think they really enjoy being on the road with them. Sincere there you know. I don't leave him out of nothing for me, you know. Sincere. I've been knowing Sincere for about 15 years now. 20. 20 years. This brother is this brother right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here it is, man. I've been in awe for like the last 20 years with my man Barris. He's been putting on shows, he's been uplifting the people. He moves the youth. We getting ready to take this whole movement to a next level. Yeah. Chris Chen getting ready to, we getting ready to do some big things. So the, the, the future is bright. The future is very bright. And your role? Pardon me? Your role is? My role? I just do it all. I'm, 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 I'm maintenance, I'm security, I'm the cleanup crew. I'm everything. I, I, I do it all because you know what? You, you, I just love this culture, man. I just, I just love this. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. This is what I live for, man. So when I wake up in the morning, my feet hit the ground. This is what I'm thinking about, man. I'm thinking about supporting this and uplifting this music, making it work. Let's take it global. That's what I'm talking about. Well, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for this moment. Pump, pump, pump. Is it all right? All right, there you have them. The Love Doctor and the kids. Harmony House in New York. And that brings us to the end of our show for this week. Winfred Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Always so much more than entertainment. My character said that whatever we do after that, I'll have hanging out. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Well, you know, there's so much more where that came from. And all you have to do is to click, subscribe, and be on stage. Always. No good again? It's easy. You don't know. At the end of the day, I can't eat him. No matter what, even if you see me and him, no deal for the longest while and thing, I can't eat him.